The three presidents also headlined a major fundraiser in Manhattan last night, where the Biden campaign says it raked in more than $26 million. The presidents took part in a conversation moderated by Stephen Colbert. The late night host brought up Biden's busy tour of the country lately, while Trump has had his eyes on other things. Here's a first look at the discussion inside Radio City. Donald Trump, as far as we can tell, has just been trying to win a third championship at his own golf course. My question to you, sir, can voters trust a presidential candidate who has not won a single Trump International Golf Club trophy? At long last, sir, have you no chip shot? Well, look, I'd be happy to play. I told him this before when he came into the Oval, when he was being, before he got sworn in. I said, I'll give you three strokes if you carry your own bag. <laughs> Can't do that. You know, Willie, there's been some whining uh, by, by a, a few people. Uh, and, of course, gloating by uh, Trumpers, talking, oh, this is so terrible. Star-studded fundraiser the same day that Trump went to the funeral of a slain, you know. Eh? You know, uh, again, we, we salute anybody uh, that will go to a funeral of a slain NYPD officer. This is an event that's been scheduled for a very long time. Uh, this is an event where uh, they, they had an opportunity to get three Democratic presidents together to explain not only to their base, but also to independent swing, swing voters, uh, 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 Republicans that could be moved. Uh, why this election is so important. Uh, you talk about the bully pulpit that a president has. This is three bully pulpits on stage. And it was quite a remarkable night. Yes, there were protests outside, the protests on college campuses. There'll be protests at the Chicago Convention. I think people need to stop the wringing of their hands. The fact is that, you know, Donald Trump has been hiding in South Florida, are going to courtrooms, are playing at club championships. And miraculously winning yet another club championship from a club uh, that he's the owner of. So, so the whiners, you know what, just, just keep it to yourself. If, if you, you really think the, 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 the setup was bad yesterday, because it wasn't. It was, a, again, it was a massive, massive success for Joe Biden, for the campaign, not only for the Democratic Party, but for pro-democracy forces. And as you say, in this moment, important to see the solidarity between those three presidents, particularly with President Obama, given some of the splintering we've heard about in the Democratic Party, grumbling from certain factions inside the party that are frustrated with Joe Biden for this reason or that to show. And to hear last night in that room, President Obama, President Clinton saying, guys, we understand we're always going to have differences within our party, but this is too important. We've got to get on board and keep Donald Trump out of the White House and reelect Joe Biden. That was their message anyway. And join hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the app store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.